everything, and he, he's, he's looking, he's hugging his dad. He's very scared right now. That 911 caller describes the emotional moment between a father and a son, a hug after a near drowning. This is the man that made that moment possible. His name is Officer Chris Tiller. Christy Etheridge walks us through why the police officer's entire family made the rescue possible. The officer saw the dad pick up his son out of the water and lay him down on the ground. When he noticed the child wasn't breathing, that's when he jumped into action. Duluth police officer Christopher Tiller was off duty, hanging out with his wife and five-year-old daughter on a Tuesday afternoon when a calm day at the pool turned into a crisis. I heard my wife say, oh my God, and turned around and saw him carrying him out of the pool. Tiller saw a boy no older than three years old, limp in his dad's arms. He put him on the ground and he wasn't moving and he started blowing into his mouth and I jumped out and I said, you don't, I don't think you know CPR, you're just blowing the water deeper into his lungs. So he pushed the dad out of the way and started doing compressions. Checked for a pulse, he had a weak pulse, he wasn't breathing. So I did compressions for 30, 45 seconds until he finally coughed up a lot of water and opened his eyes. Those seconds felt like minutes as his wife was calling 911. I was swimming with my husband and my daughter and there was a little boy who drowned here. My husband's a police officer. Her calm demeanor, a learned skill from her days as a preschool teacher and being married to a cop. Our little five-year-old was running around trying to figure out what daddy was doing and figure out was the little boy okay. So she was calling 911 and keeping our five-year-old away so that everybody was kind of freaking out a little bit. Besides being a little shaken up, the little boy was fine, and Officer Tiller is thankful he was there. I mean, cops say it all the time, we're never really off duty, even when we are off duty.